welcome to the start of i think i'm just gonna be vlogging this week reading because i made a video that was like i'm sorry i look so busted right now by the way the practical things that i do to make time for reading even though i have no free time i'm a full-time grad student and i work three jobs and i read over 100 books a year it's like a pretty typical week just taking you guys with me as i read my book showing you guys the books that i read and what i do and all that kind of stuff so you guys can see it in practice also i have so many i'm literally like a pathological mood reader i feel like i think i literally am in the middle of like maybe five or six books right now and i'm trying to finish all of them but i'll take you guys along for a very typical week of your average city girl going to grad school working trying to keep herself alive it's 8 48 right now i actually had work at 7 a.m this morning it's monday <sighs> i woke up bright and early eight to nine i have a break i made breakfast i ate at nine which is in 10 minutes i have a meeting or my other job which is a research job i have a meeting with my supervisor and my pi i have a meeting from 9 to 10 and then from 10 a.m to 3 p.m i have class but luckily today it's actually virtual it's not normally like that because we have guest speakers normally it's in person all day so today we're not going into my school school but tomorrow and the rest of the week we will be because i'm gonna try to read i don't know what it is recently you know that it's like really bad and pathological like i have an addiction to reading when i start reading on my phone exclusively anytime anything's happening i'm taking out my phone and i'm just like reading it like this and it's so easy which is really dangerous it's so easy for me to just read during class especially when it's virtual though like if i'm out i'm out i can't be doing that so i'm actually gonna try to pay attention during class today however i am going to be reading my book any given moment that i can the most recent book that i just read also finished it on my phone the seven year slip by ashley poston oh my god it was so good four stars i've got to put in a book rec video i'm nine percent of the way through collide which is a hockey romance um, but right now i'm currently reading the happy ever after playlist which i I'm 21% of the way through. Also, so good. Then I also have the new Ali Hazelwood book, Check and Me. I didn't know that this was like her YA book because normally I, I don't really like, I'm not really crazy about her books the same way that everyone else is. But this one is YA and like, I feel like that would be like a bit cuter. So I'm willing to give it a shot. The book that I was reading on my Kindle was One Dark Window by Rachel Gillick because the second book came out, I saw it everywhere. Except I'm not really loving like the first book right now. So I think that I might put that down i'm not really that obsessed with it and we don't have time to be reading books that i'm not obsessed with instead i also have the dragon republic by rf kuang which i loki have been really wanting to read um i read the poppy war recently and then everyone told me that i need to read the second book because of the romance subplot that's in it i mean obviously the series is like good by itself too but like especially the romance subplot like it was really getting me like you guys were telling me these books are like really fat and kind of traumatic but the thing about me is that i'm like an impulsive i just acquire books like on an impulse it's so dangerous because literally anytime any anyone gives a recommendation i just search it up and then i go oh i want that and i download it and i put it on my phone so that's how that's happening oh, okay it's time for me to go to my meeting this is my research meeting which i didn't prepare for and then right after that i need to go to class yes guys today's the best day ever i just finished our meeting the meeting actually ended 15 minutes early okay now it's only 13 minutes early i have to log into online class in 13 minutes but that means i have 13 minutes to spare i'm so excited i'm gonna read more of my books because it's like just getting good abby jimenez wrote yours truly which is one of my favorite romance books of all time because the guy in it is like <sighs> he's just like yeah i just love the guy in it so much so i was like okay if this is like all of all of abby jimenez's men are like this and i need to read all of her books but they basically some of the things that he says is actually crazy like he's actually like in love like he's obsessed with her anyway i'm just really enjoying this book and now i have 10 minutes left now is the perfect time for me to talk about Ritual, who is the sponsor of this video, so thank you. So these are the multivitamins that I took in the morning. I am like pretty new to like multivitamins and like dietary supplementary stuff. Like I just don't know a lot about it. A little bit intimidated slash scared. So that's why I like Ritual because everything's like traceable and made with clean ingredients, which was like my main thing. With Ritual, you know exactly all the ingredients that are in it and it's labeled and you know why. For my recommendation, I really like the essential for women multivitamin 18 plus this bottle with all these little capsules in it so this is a clinically backed multivitamin that's going to help fill in some of those like dietary gaps vegan non-gmo gluten-free and major allergen free it helps with just like your foundational health which is what i want it helps with like brain health bone health blood building antioxidant support folate omega-3 dha vitamin b12 vitamin d iron vitamin k2 boron vitamin e magnesium 
the way that these tablets are designed is like a delayed release design so that it like releases when it's in your like digestive system which is like good for optimal absorption and it's designed to be like gentle on your stomach so it's okay if you take it with or without food and if you're not happy with ritual after 30 days they have a guarantee where you can just get your money back and they will refund you no questions asked and it's so convenient literally everything you need it's delivered right to your door Rachel's offering you guys 30% off during your first month so all you have to do is either scan this QR code or you can click the link in my description ritual.com slash sunnykim30 you can use promo code sunnykim30 Guys, the sluttiest thing a man can do. Jason had come up behind me and he leaned into the room with his hands over his head on the door frame. Oh my gosh, I got so scared. I, I was unmuted just now in front of the whole class. We're on break right now. I've just been leaning here like this, reading my book. I have so many butterflies from this. Oh my god. Because I came to the kitchen, I realized that the stove was on this entire time. What a fail. If you're my sister, you didn't hear that. Anyway, I made chapche at the crack of dawn. Well, it's a struggle chapche. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so hot here. Whoops. Something she said in this book is actually so true and I've been saying this so much. His blue eyes twinkled and I marveled for the hundredth time at how handsome he was. His pictures had been great, but he was so much better set in motion. She's actually so real for that because I say this all the time and I will say it with my whole chest. For some reason, I know that all you girlies out there, I know you know what I'm talking about. Men like photograph. I feel like so badly and this is like universal I feel like across like all men like they always photograph worse than they actually look in real life oh, yes. And I think wait, I just feel like for men like I actually think like 80 to 90 percent of like their Attractiveness is not from like the way that they just like physically look It's not from a face card It's from like the way that they move the way that you know what I mean? It's like the, like movement like you need movement. I don't know why that's like a thing like I feel like I don't know. If you take a still shot photo of them versus like a video of them, like they look like completely different people. It's like, I feel like like posture and like the way that you walk and the way that you move and like your mannerism, hot boy mannerisms, like that is what makes you attractive and it's like charisma and stuff like that. Why does that happen? Isn't that crazy? It's like magic. Also, I think a fun trope in this is that he is like a pretty famous musician and he's going on tour. Um, and he's like, are you going to come visit me on tour? And it was just reminding me of like, it's giving Taylor Travis like, Karma is the guy on the Chiefs, like. Aw, we can send emojis into the chat to check how everyone's doing. What if I just do the snow on top emojis? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I said that I listen to audiobooks while I'm at the gym, which is true. I go on rotation between listening to like audiobooks, music, and podcasts. Right now, I'm really in my music and podcast vibe. I think that I'm gonna listen to a podcast instead of an audiobook. Okay, it's almost time for me to go to school. I'm making breakfast. I've decided that I'm gonna finish this book today. It's the last thing that I do. Okay. Let's go to class. That you marry him. Me too. That's my 11 11 wish. I'll take him over for a bitch. Oh, thank you. Okay, let me check. Uh, Are you sunny? Yes. Oh. Does she want me to 
say hi to you. Oh, bye. Oh my god, sorry. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay, back from school. We're gonna have an hour. All we did was talk about boys for like. <laughs> now I'm going to read about boys or boy. <laughs> just finished. It's actually the last class of this course for this semester. I would love nothing more than to lie down in my bed, become vegetative, and just read the entire day. But I know that I shouldn't do that and that would be a terrible mistake. I have an anatomy test on Friday that I haven't started studying for. But we get a cheat sheet and so all I do is I make the cheat sheet and then I go print it. So I decided today that I'm going to teach myself all of anatomy. I do want to give a book update because yesterday I ended up finishing the book I was reading, The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez. I rated it a four stars. I liked the beginning part. I think the ending was like getting me frustrated because it was just had a trope that I didn't like in it, which is like, it's not even like miscommunication it's just like no communication pretty much all of like the conflict in the book was like relationship problems like being in the relationship not like problems like getting together in the relationship which is very unlike me to like like that because you guys know i don't like when characters get together but i feel like a lot of the problems in here besides like the ending one was like quite realistic i was like oh okay so that is why after i finished reading that book on my phone instead of continuing and finishing literally any of the other eight million books that i am in the middle of right now i just got the next book in the series which is called life's too short i already really like it like i think that abby jimenez does such a good job of like writing these romance books where it's like a cute romance and i just love the men that she writes like they're just like so polite just good men you know but she balances like that cute like romance stuff but also with like deep emotion emotional like things like i almost cried although the guy in this one is like less my type like i think i really loved jason from the happy ever after playlist just because he was like upfront and i find that so attractive i feel like vanessa is more like similar to me than sloan was in the last book she just like says the things that pops into her head doesn't really care about like what people think about her like she doesn't really overthink the things that she wants to say and that's like really similar to me like i will meet someone for the first time and i'll say out of pocket things like if i think that they're pretty if i think that they have pretty eyes anything like that like i will just like say it. I think she's like a big reason why I'm loving this book. I'm gonna read it when I can. We'll see how long it takes me to get through this anatomy stuff. Like I, it just seems like the most daunting task ever, but then like once I actually get started, it's like not that bad. I mean, I'm saying that, but I'm trying to gaslight myself. Why is it so dark outside? It's time for me to go take my anatomy test. I need to go early so I can print my cheat sheet. Here's what my previous ones look like. You literally can't even read that writing. Some people will be bringing like magnifying glasses and stuff. So, so real for that. It's like the last thing that I have to do this week. And then I'm home free. Not really. Exams start next week. Back 
from war. Guys, it's like sleeting outside. Is that what it's called? One like and I read. One retweet and I changed my pajamas. I'm trying to decide if I want to continue reading Life's Too Short. I'm getting a little bit bored. Oh my gosh, guys, look. The girl in this book, her name is Summer and she introduces herself Summer like the season, which is exactly how I introduce myself when I meet new people. I go sunny like the weather. <laughs> video here because seven so i'm probably gonna spend the rest of the night editing a video everyone stay healthy out there don't forget to check out ritual these are my description box i hope you enjoy this little glimpse to my life a realistic life of reading i think next week's my last week of classes and that's just like all exams i'll see you guys very very soon all my socials are all linked in the description i'll see you all in the next one goodbye good fortune toby